You are watching Tutor Midge. Today's topic is all about solving problems involving sets using Venn diagram. So this is part one. We are going to use only two sets. Okay, so dapat napanood na ang mga first and second videos on sets. Now we have steps to follow in solving set operations using the Venn diagram. First one is to determine what is given and what are being asked. Second one, we are going to illustrate using the Venn diagram. The third one, we are going to determine what operations to be used. Fourth, use the operations. And fifth, answer the questions being asked. So let's have the first problem. In Dingasan Integrated School, 130 junior high school students were randomly selected. 75 liked banana, 88 liked rambutan, and 59 liked both banana and rambutan. So our first step is to, of course, determine whether what is given and what are being asked. So lagay natin yung mga given. So we have 130 Junior high school students were randomly selected, sabi dito. Were, then we have 75 students who like banana, 88 who like rambutan. We have also 59 who like both banana and rambutan. So, anong mga question? A, how many students like only banana? B, how many students like only rambutan? And C, how many students like neither Banana nor rambutan. Okay, for the second step, so we are now going to illustrate using the Venn diagram. So I believe marunong na kayong gumawa ng Venn diagram if you have watched our videos on this one. So here is the Venn diagram. So dalawang bilog lang kasi we are only um, having here two sets for banana and those who like rambutan okay so let us set b okay we have here let b be the set of students who like banana lagay natin dito sa isang bilog then r set of students who like only rambutan o take note ha only yung ibig sabihin nung nakalagay doon na b and r okay so x is the set of students who like neither banana nor rambutan Okay, so lagay tayo ng X sa labas. Yun yung mga may ayaw sa banana or R. Ngayon, itong 59, ito yung ating ilalagay dito kasi parehong like banana at like rambutan. Kaya dyan natin ilalagay sa gitna. Okay, next one. Iayos lang natin itong given. Then, the third one is to determine what operations to be used. Okay, for finding or to obtain our B, ang gagawin natin dyan ay, syempre, isusubtract natin. Ilan daw ba yung may gusto ng banana? So, nakalagay doon, we have 75. Ima-minus natin yung 59. O kasi yung capital letter B ay only, sabi niya. Next, to obtain R, meron tayong R equals 88 minus 50. 9. Okay, for number 3, to obtain x naman, yung 130 naman ang reference natin. Minus the sum of yung b plus r plus yung 59. So, next one, yung fourth uh, step natin, kailangan isolve na natin ito. So, ano ba yung nakalagay sa ating fourth step? Okay, so our fourth step is to use the operations. Okay, so B, we have here 75 minus 59. Therefore, our B now is 16. For our R, 88 minus 59. Our R now is 29. So, ilagay lang natin sa ating Venn diagram. 
Now, the third one is we have here 130 minus the sum of B, R, and 59. So, lagay muna natin yung ano ba yung value ng B at R. So, we have B is 16, R is 29. Add them up. Meron na tayong X equals 130 minus 104. Now, what is our X? Yes, that is 26. Ilagay naman natin sa tabi nitong X dito sa ating Venn diagram. Ayan, kompleto na. Ngayon, pag kompleto na yung laman, we are now ready to answer the questions. Okay? So, tingnan muna natin kung tama lahat yung mga nailagay natin na data. Once na okay na lahat, dapat when we add this up, equal to 130 lahat. Okay, so let us proceed with the next one. Okay, so ngayon, let's have the last step. Answer the questions being asked. Okay, so how many students liked only banana? So ilagay natin yung 16. How many students like only rambutan? So ito yung 29. And the last one, how many students like neither banana nor rambutan? So yun yung value ng x which is 26. So ganyan lang naman kadali. If you want to learn more, just comment down below. Thank you! Like! And subscribe to Tormed. Happy learning!